Hello and welcome back. Okay, picking up where we left off, I'm going to make sure that Maximize on Play is selected in my game window and press play. And here's our character and he can manipulate objects, he can jump, he can land on different platforms, and he can die. And for now the destroyer script that we added simply pauses the game. Okay, some of the new assets that I've added here are this sprite sheet. Now, in the past videos, we added individual PNGs, but you can also group them together on a single sprite sheet like I've done here. It's a great way to stay organized, and it also saves on memory. I've also added two small 200 pixel by 200 pixel PNGs. And we can use these for the background by adding a tiling script that will make the background repeat. First, let's set up our sprite sheet here. So select the sprite sheet, and then since we need to separate each one of these sprites, and really we're going to do it in the same way that we did when we separated the sprites for our character. So set the sprite mode to multiple and click apply. Then select the sprite editor. Last time, we selected grid by cell size. This time, let's leave it at automatic and select slice. As you can see, it divided up each one of our individual sprites. I'm going to click apply now to save those changes. Now when we open up the sprite sheet, you can see we have all the individual sprites here. Okay, let's tile our background. In order to do that, I need to extend some platforms so that we can actually see the repeating background happen. So, I'm going to, let's see, select my rock here, my floating platform, and hit Command D and duplicate it, and I'm going to move it down a ways. I'm going to open up my group sprite sheet here, and grab this bridge. Okay, I don't want it in front of my rocks, I want it behind my rocks, or excuse me, my floating platforms. So I'm going to set the uh, position of the Z axis in transform for the bridge to 1, and that simply moved it back. I can see that I need to adjust these just a little bit here. Okay, and of course, we can't use this yet. We need to add a collider. So let's go ahead and select Add Component, Physics 2D, Polygon Collider. Okay, that should probably do it. We'll add the background and we'll see if we need to add another platform for this demonstration. Um, all right, I'm gonna grab this Night PNG here and drag it into our scene. Okay, I'm going to set the scale of the X and Y to 30. Okay. And it does look like we should add a little uh, another platform here to really demonstrate the tiling effect. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle 2D up here in the top of the scene window and grab this transform control and pull back on the background a little bit so that we can see everything. Okay, um, let's go ahead and add another bridge and floating platform. So I'm going to hold down shift and select them both. Select command D. Okay, and then I'm going to move these over like so. That should do it right there, okay? So let's go ahead and, well, let's run the game right now so that we can see the tiling effect not happening. Okay, so there we go. He goes up on this bridge, and, and there you go. You can see right there the tiling effect right there. Here's where we need to make this background repeat again. Okay, this is really easy. All we do is select... Uh, the image here, our background image, 
I'm going to go into my scripts and grab the tiling script and drop it on my sprite and then press play. Okay, and there we have it. As you can see, the background is now repeating.